Call the boy, more Meridia. Yeah. We get to go back. Of course, you can skip all this because I'm just gonna be going up this place again. And then going up that other mountain again. So, if you get two options here, you can skip me watching, or sorry, skip uh, me going back up this little cliff here and go to where I uh, use two crabs to get up the next mountain. Or you can skip both if you're not interested in seeing how to do the double crab method. And just kind of uh, cut to me going back down in the quicksand and getting some other items on the other side. Um, I would suggest watching the double crab method if you're at all interested in doing a run like this. Just because it's a lot faster. Not a lot faster, but it's definitely easier, and it is faster at the same time. Um, so yeah, check it out if you're interested. See that missile right there? Of course you see that missile right there. Um, we can't get that. We need the speed booster to get that, and we obviously can't build up any speed in here. So... I think later, uh, when I was recording this, I recorded everything at once, and I'm just adding the commentary now, but um, I don't think I remembered to get that video, so I'm sorry that I forgot to show you that, but you can do a quick charge in the room we're in now and get that. Otherwise, you have to go to the room to the right at the bottom of this room and build up your charge there. And thankfully, a little bit later, we'll have the grappling beam to get across these things at the top. So this will be the last time we have to go up the mountain with these crabs. Okay, so here's the second crab. Hit it once, so it's ready to be frozen. And then, get yourself out of this little pit here. There's another crab over there. I wonder if it'd be possible to get three crabs somehow. <laughs> you don't need three crabs. I try to get out and freeze that crab up there, but then I remember that he doesn't move, so he's just gonna be chilling up there till he's actually back on the screen. And we can shoot him again. You do want to keep him kind of close though. You don't want to lose him entirely because you do need him. If he does get away from you and you didn't use a save state or you don't use save states, you can use a super missile and that'll knock him back down uh, to the bottom. It'll knock him off the wall and you can um, start over that way. Speaking of doing that with super missiles, we'll be doing that in just a second. You can see how this is much easier. Just knock him off at the end of the cliff there. Have him frozen, and... That's it. That's all you need to do. Unfortunately, we can't take him with us. That would be nice, though. So I guess you could, if you somehow got three crabs, uh, let one of those three just continue on and let him crawl up this side of the mountain if you wanted to. You'd have two crabs this way since he's not going to continue moving after he gets over here until you get there too. That might be cool. I might try that sometime. So anyway, now that we're here, we're going to be going up. If you skipped to this part, I know I said I was going to be going back to the quicksand, but I lied. We're going up this time. And then we'll be going back down to the quicksand after we're done with this part. Um, I have to apologize because I do make a lot of mistakes in this part. And I know this is long already, so just bear with me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, you definitely don't want to kill these fish. You do need these fish to get out of here. I just killed them because I didn't want to die. And I kind of forgot that I needed them. So anyway, we have this missile. And then we're going to get another missile and a super missile. Just a second. <laughs> I try to get the fish to respawn, but then I remember that enemies don't respawn that way in Super Metroid. So we have to exit the room and come back up. Ooh. Yeah, for some reason I don't save here. I would think that I would use a save state when I'm almost dead like that, just in case I mess up. But instead, I move tediously slow, a little overly cautious, so sorry about that. Oh, and make sure the water's down when you try to bop them, or you won't move anywhere. Oh, secret hidden wall. How awesome is that? It's not that awesome. A lot of those in Metroid. Okay, another time for you to skip. Uh, I'm gonna be farming these two little beetle things for a while. So, skip if you want. I always thought these things kind of looked like, um, well, they look like beetles, obviously. Like Goliath the Beatles, I think is what they're called. But if you've ever played Super Mario RPG, they kind of remind me of the Beetle game in there. That's a pretty sweet game. When you're climbing up that hill. I don't know. That booster game. Never mind. Just, just ignore me. Okay, so we're finally done there. And now we get, need to get down here. Um, I do... I, it, at this point, I kind of forgot how to get out of this little room. So, I take a little more time than I need to to get out of here. And I'm sorry for that. Um, after you get this missile, that little platform that I'm standing on right now, that's the one you want to be on to get out of here. But I didn't know that at the time, apparently. Try the crouch jump. Doesn't work. Just barely missed it. Try to spin jump from here. Nope. From here? No. Not enough room. So. Oh, oh, am I gonna make it? No. No. So finally, I get the bright idea to try it from the side. And yes, you have to wall jump. Again. Back and forth here until you get out of this little pit. It's not as hard as getting out of the water in the quicksand in the previous video. Because uh, when you're trying to get out of the water, for some reason skimming the water at the top, it kind of pulls you back in. And it's much harder to go upwards when you're trying to get out. I'm not really sure why. That works. So anyway, now we're done with this, and we can go down the other side of that quicksand pit that we traveled into before, and I believe that will be the end of Meridia, so we'll catch you next time.